Jith Hadun is back with a last minute gift. And also, what kind of wannabe web celeb would I be if I didn't lie? If my last post was the actual last, right? Anyway, in the description of this video, you can download the realignment tool, which is a preset for After Effects. And it's nothing fancier than a corner pin effect linked to a slider controller through some expressions to make your workflow faster and easier fixing poorly aligned shots. Okay, so we're gonna start by getting this file here, that's the preset. So I'm gonna command copy, control copy, I'm on Windows. Go on Windows Explorer and I'm gonna drop it on the right place and the right place is on your program files, Adobe, After Effects, your current version, minus 2018, support files, and here you're gonna look for the presets folder and drop it in here, so continue. Uh, so that's the path for Windows. If you get a Mac, you check the video description if you're not sure where to drop it. And now when I load up After Effects, it's going to show up inside of the program. Now we've got to wait. Uh, all right, After Effects, here we go. Uh, in After Effects, we're going to create a new project. I'm just going to create a new composition here. And my comp settings, I'm going to be using 16 by 9 footage, but I just want a 2.4 to 1 aspect ratio, so I know this is the right number. I came here and I was like, you know what? What's 1080? 1080 times 2.4. And it gave me this number, so I plugged this in here. Um, I'm going to go OK. OK. Yeah, and now I'm gonna get the file that is in my downloads folder. So this is a very poorly aligned file. What happened after effects? That's here. No, I don't want this. Okay, so now this is a very poorly aligned file. You're gonna see that in a moment. You bring in the file. I'm gonna drop it on my comp and it's, un it's squeezed, so I'm gonna go in and squeeze it. This is the Koa 16D. And you can look at this straight line right here. Beautiful, right? Yes, yeah, so uh, in the normal process, I would have to add a corner pin put to each of the corners here. Um, this, 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 and this, and then control them individually. And with the real line, tool, you can just search here in the preset, effects and presets, and click and drag over to the footage. And you see these are all red numbers. Please don't mess with them. It automatically picks the corners for the footage. And here on the slider, if you go positive, it, is, it skews the top until it's straight. This is much better. But I could also go low and skew the other way. So if your footage is tilted the wrong direction, you can fix both sides here. So I'm going to say 45 is a good place to start. I'm gonna zoom in, zoom in, not too much. Display my rulers here and bring a ruler just so I can check. And um, not really great, so I'm going to bump this up to this straight line is looking a lot better. Bokeh is still a little off, but I'm going to go with that and as you can see this is pretty decent I mean I don't see the footage breaking which is cool that's the best case scenario is using it with two times stretch footage on a 2.4 to 1 uh, output aspect ratio because if I go to 3.56 here on the comp settings 3840 you'll see that the edges here are missing. You can see it right there. See here and here, these are missing. And so you would lose resolution if you wanna fill the entire frame because we're gonna to have to upscale this until it's out and then boom, we already lost like 6%. So, uh, so you're gonna end up losing some resolution in the process, it's inevitable. But the footage looks a lot better. So this is it. This is how it works and this is how you can use it. 
All right, that was your Christmas gift from me. Uh, enjoy it, have fun, I don't know, just fix your video. And please like the video to counter the haters. Subscribe to the channel because we're back in the first weekend of January with a review for the SLR Magic Compact Anamorphite. Happy holidays, everyone. I'm Chutuf Hedens, and I'm out.